Hi, my name is Brian from Reachback Productions, and we provide content creators with professional voiceover services and help podcasters grow their audience and generate income. In this episode, we're going to take all the pieces that you need to put together so that you can have a successful podcast and grow that audience so that you can eventually generate some income. Let's go. So I very often talk about system. You need to have your system in place in the right order, taking the right steps together. Your system involves having a few very, very strong fundamental pieces. You need to make sure that you have a landing page. That landing page needs to have options for lead magnets and other content. You need to have an opt-in. Those opt-ins are going to lead into a marketing funnel that you're going to create to send out to your audience. But let's start it out at the very fundamental, the very basic level. The first thing, the very first thing you should be creating is a landing page. I recommend a landing page that would be called a link in bio. So a link in bio is something that if you're posting information about your podcast on social media, or if you're talking about it on other shows, or you're even mentioning it in your episodes, whenever you want to use a call to action, which is mentioning something and having your audience take action to do it. Whenever you mention a call to action, that call to action should be to this one very specific landing page. It doesn't have to be where they can subscribe to your podcast, where they can get the latest episode. It's all going to be on this one landing page called the link in bio. So we're going to take a look at a fictitious podcast that I created, and we're going to look at a landing page that I've created. And if you haven't seen that, you can check it out. It's in one of these boxes up there to the video about creating this link to bio or a link in the bio landing page. So let's have a look at that and go over all the pieces that are involved in how this is going to be advantageous to help you grow your audience. All right, so looking at this landing page right here, you can see on the top we have uh, the title. The, the name of the podcast is Turtle Time Pizza Podcast. The host, of course, is Michelangelo. I'm a big fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Michelangelo was, of course, the infamous uh, turtle that loved pizza. He talked about uh, pizza all the time. Okay, so the very first element that we're looking at here is we have a landing page with one, two, three, four, five links as well as a piece down here. Let's break down what all of these pieces are. This first link right here is gonna be all about the latest episode. And this is called evergreen content. So what we have here is this link is going to take your audience to the most recent episode. So whether you're on Apple Podcasts or wherever you're hosting your podcast at, this link will take them to the most recent episode or a playlist, whatever you have. So you want one of the links to go to your show. So when you're referencing your show and you want them to subscribe, you want them to like well, all the call to actions that you can call for. Instead, you're going to have them come to this link to buy because it's going to have everything. So it's going to have a link to the to the latest episode. And we call that evergreen content because it's evergreen like trees and plants that are evergreen. It's always producing. It's always going to be changing. So this link is one link that goes to something that is constant changing. So your audience can always come back to this to get fresh content because it's always new because your top link is the evergreen content with your show. Okay. So if we go to the next link, the next link is about the host is pretty self-explanatory. This one is a bio about you or all the hosts on the show. And we're going to, it's engagement because It's engaging your audience to learn about you. So the more that you can reveal about yourself, the more that the audience is going to want to listen to you and feel like they're a part of you. So the first thing they need to do is they need to hear you. And then if you want to stick, if if you want them to stick around, they have to trust you and like you for them to trust you and like you, they have to know you. So it's essential that you talk about yourself on the show. You also have some sort of reference to a about the host link that goes to a simple page on your website. That's about you. Don't go into a whole lot of detail about you know, I won this award or I did this, I did that. If it's relevant to the product that you're selling, like for example, you're a real estate agent, you have a real estate 
uh, podcast, yes, mentioned your qualifications a bit, but what's going to be more interesting to have your audience stick around, trust you and want to come back and accept your content and, and eventually purchase content in your product is they got to trust you. So if you have a dog, talk about your dog. If you have a husband or a wife, talk about them. You don't have to give away personal information and of course only give away information that you feel comfortable with. But the more that you can open yourself up to your audience, the more they're going to accept you and be a part of you and want to um, engage with you and be a, be a part of the show and absorb your content and purchase from you. Okay. The next link that we're talking about is a want to talk pizza together. This is just the link that I called it. Essentially it's your link to have them be a guest on your show. If you, uh, check out the, uh, list that I created, it's the, it's lead magnets that you can use for your podcast. It's three awesome actionable uh, tips that you can take right now. It's in a PDF form. If you go down to the description below, you can download that. It's lead magnets for your show. And you should absolutely 100% have content with lead magnets so that your audience can take action. You give them the call to action to go to this lead magnet. And one of your lead magnets is the first one in my recommendation is have them be a guest on your show. Um, This one says, want to talk pizza together. It's essentially just inviting them to be on the show. This is a lead magnet that is a double lead magnet. The reason it's a double lead magnet is it does two things. One, it's benefiting you because when they sign up to be on the show, you're going to capture their name and their email address. You're also going to be, then that way you can market to them later. It's, but it's a double because now they also get to be on the show, which is going to make them happy. They're going to talk about it on social media, which is a twofold return for you because when they talk about uh, being on the show, they're putting it out to their audience. They're doing free marketing and advertising for your show. It's going to come back to you double fold. So this one's a double lead magnet. It's a really good one. I strongly recommend that you invite your audience onto your show because it has multiple, multiple benefits. And I detail those in the document that you can download right down below in the link description for the lead magnets for podcasts. All right, let's look at this third one. The third one is the Killer Cowabunga Pizza Recipe. This is a lead magnet that is a single. It's just a clever title for uh, our fictitious podcast, Turtle Time Pizza Podcast with Michelangelo. Michelangelo is always talking about this famous pizza recipe that he has for the best pizza, and he calls it the Killer Cowabunga Pizza. All right, your show might have something that you refer to all the time. It's the number one ways to get um, into a hot market, the best times to flip houses, whatever your show's about, if it's about a barbershop, how to how to fill the seats, whatever it is. Whatever you can market, whatever your product is that you can give away for free, whatever this lead magnet is going to be, you need to have it on your link in the bio. And this one happens to be a pizza recipe. If you notice, there are two lead magnets so far on this page. That's good. If you have more than one, that is okay. One's a double, one's a single. This one's just a single because it's uh, benefiting you because you get to capture their information. You're going to get their name and their email for marketing purposes. They get the recipe or they get the lead magnet, whatever the case is. Okay. The last one that we have here is the Turtle Time... Uh, or the Turtle Power Membership, calling it Turtle uh, Power Membership. This is just a membership page that you should 100% have. Uh, So ideally, you want your website to have some sort of community that your audience can get together. It's a tribe gathering. So the tribe mentality, people like to feel like they are a part of a group. They like to feel like they're a part of a tribe, whether they're just getting into CrossFit, that's all they're going to talk about. If they're just getting into the best chocolate chip cookie recipe. That's all they're going to talk about. You want your audience to be talking to each other and having a tribe gathering in your own community. And what this is, is it could be a membership site that you're charging. It could be free to start. It could be the first 50 people are free and then you start charging after that. You you run it how you want, but this is uh, a piece of the uh, the puzzle for growing your audience and incentivizing and monetizing your, uh, your, your show would be this membership site. Okay. 
So hopefully your website has that. If not, we'll talk in the end about what I recommend. I'm sure you guys have heard me many, many times. I highly recommend Kajabi. We'll get to that in a moment. All right, so what do we have so far? We have our five links to look at here. This is this landing page would be called a link in the bio. One of the links is your evergreen content. That's going to be the latest episode that's constantly updating, so it's evergreen. Your second link is about the host. This is going to be a bio page about you. It's going to give engagement. Your your audience is going to get a little glimpse behind the, the screen, so to speak, about who the hosts are and a little bit about them. It's going to make them want to be a part of the show a little bit more because they kind of know you more on a personal level. All right. The third link is a lead magnet to uh, being a guest on the show. This is a double lead magnet because it benefits you because you're going to capture their name and email address, but you're also going to get free marketing because when they're on their show, you're going to ask them and they're going to want to do it anyways. They're going to um, blast out on social media that they were going to be on the show or they're going to be on the show. Every time they mention the show on their um, social media, it benefits you. And so that's a good thing. Plus, Having them on the show, you get to get gather even more information about your audience by talking to them and finding out their wants, their needs, so that you can offer them solutions by free solutions as well as selling solutions, selling products. Uh, the next one we have, the fourth one is a lead magnet, and this is a single lead magnet, how to get the uh, Killer Cowabunga pizza recipe. This could be whatever lead magnet you have. Um, have it available in your link to bio. So that's one way that they can access it. And then the join the, the Turtle Power membership. That's your community that you have, whether it's free or it's a pay to be a part of. You have a community that all of the people that our audience can come together and talk about your show, or they can talk about your product, or they can talk about whatever they want. And you drop in there and you're a part of it and you do video chats and you keep them engaged. Now, out of those five, how many of those are going to be an opt-in? The evergreen content is not. That's just going to link them to how to get your content, your podcast, your new ep episodes. They can subscribe, but that's, that's just going to get them to keep listening to the show to the newest episode. Okay, your bio engagement, that's not an opt-in either. That just goes straight to uh, the about the page or about the host page. So that's not an opt-in. Opt-in is when they have to put in their name and email and you capture it. But these bottom three are the lead magnet for if you want to be on the show, absolutely, name and email address. Lead magnet for the pizza recipe, absolutely, name and email address to get that. Want to be a part of the membership and join? Absolutely, name and email. So out of those five links, three of those are capturing their name and email. And you need that. You want to grow your list as much as you can because that list is who you're going to service. You're going to service them with solutions to their problems, offering them free solutions, as well as offering them paid solutions. And that's how you... That's how you make money through your podcast. You use your podcast as the message to get your product out, but you sell your product. You don't have to sell the podcast. You don't need to sell advertisement. You don't need to get commercials. You don't need to have products on and talk about the products. You, you have your own product. Sell your product. Don't worry about that. You're just, you're just using the podcast as a vehicle to get the message out. Three of the five are going to be an opt-in. So what's this last in? This last one right here, always stay connected and up-to-date. Guess what it is? It's a opt-in. <laughs> Four, you got another opt-in. It is vital. You want to get their name and email address as much as you possibly can. How easy is it for them to unsubscribe? Very, very easy. But if you can keep them on that list and keep them on that list with solid, good content by giving free, valuable content all the time, and then occasionally you pitch in for the, the content that they can purchase, they're going to stay on that list because it's it, you're providing value to them. So what would this do? Why would you have a separate opt-in? Simple. If they're not clicking any of these links right here, but they just want to stay up to date with stuff on the show, they want to get on your email list, give them that option. A lot of people don't really want to click on the lead magnet. Maybe they don't want to be on your show. Maybe they don't want the pizza recipe. Maybe they don't want to be a part of the membership already, but they do want to stay up to date with what's happening on the show. Give them that option so they can opt in. So this whole page is called a link in bio. When you add a link on social media on how people can access you, this is what you put. You don't put a link to access the latest episode. It's already on this page. 
You don't put a link to your email. It's already on this page. It's going to be on your host page. You don't put a link to a lead magnet that you're trying to give away for free. It's already on this page. Make a landing page with all your content that handles everything. Big, clear logo. Make it pop. Make it stand out so it's super engaging. And this is going to tremendously help you out. All right. So I talked earlier about all the different pieces, the landing page. You have these opt-ins, some call to actions. They're going to go into an email funneling so you can market them. It's a lot of pieces. You want to have a membership site. There's a lot of websites that offer all those things and can do all those things. And some of them are for free and you'll have banners and advertisements on the side. And if you're okay with that, you do you. Uh, Some of them you might have to pay a little additional. I know having a membership site is something that you have to pay additional through a couple of the, the, the free one or the more inexpensive web hosts. My recommendation is Kajabi. If you check out Kajabi, Kajabi handles all of this and so, so much more. It makes running a business and monetizing and making money for your business so tremendously easy. I love Kajabi. I am full in on Kajabi. And Kajabi offers a free trial. It's a 14-day trial if you're interested. Um, There's no restrictions. You can try out all the different parts of Kajabi and really give it for a, a, a strong test run. If you would like a 30-day trial, I can offer you a free 30-day trial if you follow the link in the description below. Full disclosure, if you sign up with Kajabi after using my link, I will get a small kickback that goes back to the show to help the show out, and I do appreciate it. But 30 days is so much better. You know, there it is, double the 14-day free trial. I'm going to give you 30 days to try out Kajabi. I can tell you right now, once you try it in, you're going to you can't go without it because it gives you everything. You can have all your landing pages. You can have all your lead magnets. You can have all your, your content in one spot. You can have your membership site. You can have your email funnel all set up. It's, and it's all automated. It's Once it's built, it is hands off, my friends. I'm telling you, you have to do nothing. Somebody signs in, somebody opts in. It sends them everything. It's all automated once you build it. And I can help you do that if you need the help. But 30 days is plenty of time to figure it out. Uh, You can follow in the link description below. And that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down below and we can interact with that. I want to know, though, are you using something? Are you really using a call to action on your show? Because it is essential. If you are not asking your audience to take action and do something, then all they're doing is passively listening and you don't have an opportunity to grow that audience or make money off any of them because you're not asking them to do something make a link in the bio, get some options out there, start gathering their their information so you can market to them and eventually make a little bit of money off your show. I want to thank you for joining me today. It means a whole lot. Until next time.